Welcome. So this is in response to a request for a short, simple, yet full practice that you could um, follow along with at home. Um, so I know it's very challenging to keep us our practice, especially if you are still building your foundation. So hopefully with this tutorial, it will set up your foundation and uh, will give you the confidence to safely practice at home. Yeah. So 30 minutes, 40 minutes every day will make a huge difference. That yeah. will really benefit you so many levels in life. So this uh, tutorial or this lesson is simple. Now, full of essential elements, no complicated positions, and then towards the finish, we will be doing some meditation as well through breath regulation. All right, so let's start. Yeah. Let's just move the body to a bit of a side to side. Yeah. And then uh, some circles just to initially release the heaviness of uh, the lower back. Huh? And then from there, find the center again. Inhale, arms switch over here, spread the fingers wide. Good. And we're twisting facing the right hand side. Yeah? You may want to loosen the left side of the neck a bit. Good. So keep that light twist. Right thumb opens on your exhalation, just a bit sideways. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. So the right elbow now hooks in front, so the arms form like a cross position. Now inhale, neck opens up just a bit. On your exhalation, fold the fronts of the body yeah, and feel the backs of the body open like a wide dome. Like the, the shoulder blade is separate, yeah? the back opens wider, and then lifting the backs of the throat up. So you don't collapse the spine. Yeah? And keep the elbows to a gentle bind. And then just lift them up. And your hands are holding to a bind as well. Yeah? Yeah. A light shoulder stretches. Right. Exhale, inhale, open. Beautiful. All right, arms are release. All right, just reposition the legs in front. So use your hands to gently yeah, rub the tight spots of your legs, the knees. Our hands are very healing. Yeah. And especially if you practice in the morning, your body tends to become a little bit more stiff. So by rubbing your hands against the tight spots of your legs, especially, yeah, you loosen the tight spots of your body. Yeah, and from there, yeah, cross the legs again. Yeah, and let your hips go and circles again. So I'm just repeating the sequence. Yeah? So the elements we will be doing combination of hip openers. Yeah, twist and some standing positions as well. Yeah, back to the center inhale. And this time we're twisting facing the left hand side. Yeah. All right, I'm breathing in. Left thumb opens on your exhalation, just bend sideways. Yeah. And just opening that left side of your body. Good. Left elbow hooks across in front. Breathe in a cup. If the neck feels open, you can look up a bit on your exhalation. Down and then just gaze inside your heart. And then feel the breath pass through the backs of the ribs and all the way to your upper spine towards the back of your body. Yeah. Breathe in, forward and up. And your hands help you a stretch. Yeah. Let the shoulders go a bit. And we exhale, arms release. Lift them up, yeah, spread the hands really wide, yeah, really feel the energy yeah, extend all the way up to the fingertips. Beautiful. All right, release the arms and let's reset the legs again. Let the hips go to a bit of a side to side. Good. All right, next time we are bending the right knee, yeah, and then just open the hip leg out to the side. Yeah? So we're going to open the right channel, yeah, the right channel is our pingali, pingala, yeah, our active side, the sun energy, inhale, open, all right, and from here, left hand to your right knee, and a mild twist facing the right hand side, yeah. right. if the left hip feels a bit tight, you can lift that hip to a gentle inner action, and then slide the thigh back, yeah. but not too much, yeah, find a way where, um, adjust the hips where the lower back is like, yeah, Right thumb opens, like first round, exhale this sideways. Yeah. You don't have to go really very flat here. Yeah. No, breathe in and feel the breath. Yeah. Open the grooves of your ribs to the side. Right, left up, 
All right, release, all right, release the right, lift up a bit, and then just angle towards the diagonal so you're square in, so the lower back is open. Yeah, breathe in, open up. On your exhalation, folding over the left leg. Now take this one easy. If you cannot fold fully, you can just mildly fold the trunk forward. Now, and next inhale, lift your spine back up. Beautiful. All right, release the arms. Right. Left leg bends under this time. Now, it's a different position, so the right knee is on top. And just move the hips a bit of a side to side. Right. Left elbow binds the front, and the chest facing the right hand side. Externally sitting positions might look easy but actually sitting positions are one of the most challenging uh, because uh, when we are assuming a sitting position the hips and the low back they enjoy less mobility yeah so there's really really little room for adjustment so you have to be very mindful of how you do this position especially the breathing so when you twist let the arms go bit and the spine relax a bit on the inhalation so you lift up on your exhalation, you spiral. So the twist is like a spiraling action. Yeah? You suspend in that. All right, release the twist. All right, beautiful. This time, the left leg opens out to the side and the right leg falls. So like the first round, yeah? now breathe in up. Yeah, and we we'll twist again. Yeah, left hand to your right knee, right. soften. And right arm opens once more, and exhale, bend sideways. We're just combining actually, yeah? breathing in, right release, adjust the left hip a bit, open up, inhale, exhale to the left side. Breathe in, open up, right, right hand, adjust, another twist, right. open that right arm, exhale it, right. back to the center. We adjust the left hip, we adjust the right hip, inhale open, and exhale to the front. All right, back to the center line, breathe in, and exhale. All right, so we're gonna break our flow with some movements or um, transitions. So your left knee now bends, now you push up the downward facing dog. Yeah? So in here, just feather the legs. Right. And in here, the right leg goes up in the air, three like a dog, bend and widen the head. Yeah. Yeah, and just bend and straighten the leg. And the right knee now crosses between the hands. So I know, yeah, we are doing one side first. Yeah. And then side to side the hips. Well, breathe in, open up the neck, open up the throat, and exhale, fold it down. Breathe in, open, and exhale down. Then we have one more, inhale, rising. And exhale, open up, and exhale it. All right, from here, shift your weight to your right. Yep. Left leg now is under. Yeah. Then the right knee on top, and we twist again. Yeah, same, 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 yeah. What I like about this sequence, it activates the core organically inside while at the same time combining some other elements. Not just one, we're combining some um, more elements all at once. So we are practicing not just one, but many types of asanas. All right, and then from here, release. All right, flex in the front. Side to side the hips. Right. And use your hands again to rub in the tight spots of your body. Right. This time around, we're going to work the other side, bending the left leg now and then open the right leg out to the side. Yeah. Now breathe up. And this time, right hand to your left knee and the twist. Yeah. Now the left side is uh, moon energy. Uh, Eat up. Now breathe in. Left arm opens. And exhale. Bend sideways. 
breathe in left exhale release right side your chest right thigh readjust yeah right head readjust and then open up inhale and exhale bending over that right leg yeah. so this is easy And we breathe in and rise it. And exhale. Beautiful. Alright, now cross the right leg under. Left leg is on top. Yeah. This time the right elbow binds and we're twisting face and the left hand side. Easy shoulders. Again, breathe in, suspend and hang. And exhale, spiral. Cross, release the legs. Right. If the low back feels a bit heavy, you can reset them. All right, we're gonna repeat the sequence again. So, bending that left leg once more. Inhale, open. And which was again left side, next side. Right. Just combining the two uh, first two forms. Breathe and open up. And exhale, bending over the right leg, right hip. Inhale, left. Readjust, open up, and exhale. Right, breathe and open. Exhale. So just using your awareness. Now this sequence will help us you know, become more confident of how we could adjust our body, how to reset the body, how to reset the hips by feeling it, by breathing through it, and then finding that space where you're moving with lightness and space. Open up, exhale. Sitting positions are also one of the best ways to energize our hips, becoming more aware of any uh, tight spots, any imbalances we are holding inside our body. Breathe in, because one side is actually more difficult to perform than normally the other side is lighter. Alright, from here release, now bend the right leg, All right, left leg is open now, yeah. and we just slow the breath forward and up, you know, and exhale, come up, breathing in, exhale, let's have two more, the left side is normally the open side, yeah. and open up, and exhale, Right, and then shift your weight to your right. All right, just reset the legs in front. All right, beautiful. And this time the left leg folds under. The right knee is on top. All right, left elbow binds the front, and we twist facing that way. Right. The left side of the neck open. Right, and cross, pivot to the left side, and then push away to downward facing dog. Right, and just follow the legs here. Alright, this time the left leg opens the three legged dog, bend and widen the hip. Alright, and from here, we're stepping up. Instead of the knee, it's the foot through. Beautiful. And the back heel drops. And then circle to stand, the second boy, yeah. Yeah, breathe and suspend high, and accept it. All right, we're gonna straighten that left leg and then reach up and over. Exhale, bend in front, and circle up. And the circular movements. Exhale as you release, inhale, tip open. And then from there, right, pivot to the right hand side, so bending the right leg. Let go of the left hip a bit, yeah? But don't collapse the pelvis, you want your hips level. And then just let the left arm open up. Good. And then from here, both hands on either side of your back top. Yeah. This um, round is the right knee. Right. Inhale, open forward and rise up to the first warrior position. All right. And then from here, just let the arms go. Inhale, open. Exhale. All right. You can progress by swinging the trunk as well. But when you do this action, yeah, opening our gates of energy, you want your hips and the legs stable, so you don't want to bounce it. Exhale down, inhale. 
All right, next time, finger past the floor, just square the hips like that. Yeah, good. Inhale, open up. All right, let me angle because the next one is a bit tricky. Yeah, so the left hand now is under. All right, shift forward, and the right leg steps back. So what happens here? So your legs form the, like the scissor. All right, to modify, you can place your knee down, and then we're gonna circle forward and circle back. Inhale, over. Exhale down. Inhale, rise it. Exhale down. One well, last. Inhale. All right, the right hand to floor. Yeah. And then just reposition the double facing door. All right. And then the left leg again. Opens up the three leg go. Left leg again. Yeah. Left leg up. Right. And the left knee down the earth. Beautiful. All right, open up. Alright, come back up. Alright, right leg falls under, left leg is on top. Alright, right elbow by the front, suspend and exhale to the left. So let's traditional movements, yeah? Random movements, yeah? Feel your body and then do what's serving you for a particular day. The breath, you can hold this longer if you want. All right, and pivot all the way down the right hand side and push right the down of the single. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, right leg opens to three like a dog. Then stretch your leg, then stretch your leg. All right, we're stepping up. Right foot all the way forward. Good. And then the left knee down. And then circle the way, second row your hand. And stretch the front leg, stretch the front hip, exhale and bend forward. Inhale, spiral up, exhale. Two more, inhale, open, exhale it, rise it. Right. And then there, pivot, right. bend this leg, forearm, reach up. All right. Again, you don't want to collapse the hips, yeah? Rather, you don't, you, you don't want your shoulder to feel heavy. So, using the awareness of the core and then the suspending breath to create that space and lightness support. Yeah? Organic core strength, yeah? using the breath. All right, both hands on either side of your left foot. Yeah? So, just by chance if you need, shift forward, inhale to the first warrior. Grow long and tall, exhale. Inhale, open, exhale down, rise, inhale, and exhale, one last, inhale, open, right finger past the floor, just square that right, right hip, so like you're doing a runner's position, so the backs of the hips are level, all right, let me angle again, and this time, it's your um, right hand down, yeah, stick, and circle forward, exhale, Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale, rise. Last one. All right. The left hand to floor. Square everything to downward dog. All right. Right leg opens again to three legged dog. Bend the knee. All right. Right knee fits through to a cross angle. And the left hip is open. And breathing forward. Yeah. Listen to that. And rise it. Beautiful. Alright, from here, bend the left leg under, right leg is on top, and we twist. So if you notice, we're moving like circles. Huh? One principle of energy channeling, our energy uh, moves in really big circles, mandala. So by mimicking the flow of energy, somehow our body um, goes with that inherent and beautiful flow of our energy. This is the last round actually. All right, and cross. All right, tip it to the left. Push off the downward facing dog, and then just bend up the legs in. Beautiful. All right, shoulders over hands, and then just place your knees to ground. Good. Let your hips go a bit. All right, and then inhale, open up, and as you exhale, push to your cat stretch. Inhale, open forward and just to release your spine. And exhale. 
Breathe in, open. Next set it. One more, open up. All right, and then just exhale to your neutral spine. Okay, and from here, lift on threads under, and then just let go of that left shoulder to the side. All right, back to the center channel. All right, we're not changing, rather, the right hand extends towards the left side, diagonal angle, and then slide your hips gently towards the right side behind you, just to open this up. I'm just saying about three breaths. All right, and from here, right arm opens wide to the side, left leg opens out to the side, and then from there, extend. Right, and like the windmill, inhale up, exhale halfway to the side. Okay. Inhale, scoop it, exhale to the side again. One last, inhale, open, and exhale it. Right, come back up, all right, both hands to floor. All right, and just reposition your left knee so that's square. All right, and from there, just open up again and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale, open up and exhale. All right, inhale to neutral spine, finding that neutral position again. And this time around, is the right arm under. And then just let your right side release a bit. You may loosen the left arm. Alright, lightly push away. Alright, release the right arm, left arm, and goes towards the long side of to the diagonal and the hips a little bit towards the left side of the body behind. Alright, side stretches. Alright, left arm goes wide to the side, right leg goes up to the side as well, and then we reach up. This works the core actually, especially the oblique muscles. So when you rise, don't bounce it, like you want to lift up gently with control and exhale to the side. Inhale, open, and exhale back to the floor. Yeah, so spin and hang, and exhale, circle. Breathing in, and exhale. Come back center. All right, hands in front, just reset your right knee back under that. Yeah, there. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, reset to downward facing dog. And just let the legs go. All right, shoulders of the hands. And we're gonna drop to our knees. All right, and our last will be the cow and the cat again. Inhale, open up. And exhale. Breathe up and exhale. One last. Inhale, open and exhale. All right, and then from there, just cross the ankles behind and you're sitting easy down. All right, back to the cross legs. Now the body is open, the breath is flowing. So let's have a bit of meditation by controlling the flow of the breath more. So we're going to be practicing the alternate nostril breathing with retention. So the basic technique, so the right arm blocks the right nostril and then abundantly but slowly breathe in through the left. And at the top of that tip of the inhale, you're holding it for, for this round, let's just hold it for four beats. Yeah? So inhale it. And then you're holding it, and while you're holding it, the mind says 1,004, 1,003, 1,002, 1,001, a lot clip. And the ring finger blocks the left nostril, and exhale through the right. Now inhale through the right. 1,004, 1,003, 1,002, 1,001, clip. And you exhale through the left. So that's uh, one round. And um, 
we will be practicing this for like uh, five minutes. I will be uh, playing some meditation, singing both here so you can keep your mind or your sense of hearing fixed to the sound while you are controlling the breath and your mind is counting as well. So I will be yeah, starting the timer. So we have that guide as well. So the meditation will start with a bell like this. And to finish, I will ring the bell again. All right? So sitting up tall, nice and lifted in the spine. Let me lead the first. Thumb blocks the right nostril. Now inhale through the left. Hold. Thousand three. Thousand two. Thousand one. Clip. Ring finger blocks the left. Exhale through the right. Now inhale through the right. Hold. Thousand three. Thousand two. Thousand one, flip, exhale, and then repeat. I'll see you later.
Now you're going to finish your next breath regulation. And then when you're done, just release the hands. Keep your eyes closed. And then just start to breathe both sides of the nostrils. And let your natural breath come back. Breathe in both sides. And exhale. Lift the breath from the base of your spine and draw it up. Inhale it. And then your mind keeps following that sound of the bell. You might still hear it lingering inside your mind. A few minutes after this practice, um, it will just go. Now, we gently let the eyes blink open and then lift the arms back up. Inhale it and exhale. Breathe and open. Yeah, and exhale. Can we do one more? Rise it up. Spread the hands really wide. Fold the elbows. And then one more breath up. Inhale. Come look up. All right, hands fold and they form like a seal in front of the heart and just inhale lightly through the heart spring. And we bow over its beauty, beauty of the heart this time. Yeah? Namaste. I'll see you next time. Enjoy the rest of it.